After strengthening her power in the government by being appointed first vice president, Nadia Calvino faces her first great dilemma of this new stage with the macroeconomic table for budgets generals of the state 2022, which could have to be revised down in the coming weeks. The also Minister of Economic Affairs sinned last year of an excess of optimism with the forecasts on which the public accounts were based. And this exercise is also based on more positive figures than the consensus of national and international organizations for the elaboration of the spending ceiling for next year. The scope of the fifth wave of COVID-19, the rebound in oil or the evolution of inflation are three elements that are pressuring Calvino to adjust down his projections for 2022, an exercise for which the government has forecast a growth of 7%, compared to 6.5% this year. This is an estimate for next year that is above the 5.8% predicted by Funkers on Tuesday, in line with the Bank of Spain, or the 6.3% expected by the European Commission. All these organizations start from more prudent growth calculations for this year than those of the Spanish government and all three share the idea that the economic rebound of 2021 will lose steam in 2022 against the speech of the executive. Last April, Calvino already had to modify his projections downwards, when he cut the growth of 2021 by 3.3 points, to 6.5% and in return raised the expected one for 2022. They are numbers that contemplate a tourist season without the new limitations that are being announced to contain the Delta variant and oil prices much lower than those that mark the markets today. Two dark clouds that are overshadowing the effect on the economic rebound that the good evolution of consumption or advance of vaccination.